G'day Beaks and Beaks to Be. Are you curious about learning more about beekeeping? I have been a beekeeper for over 55 years and rearing queen bees since the 1980s. Got enough bees in this hive, Nicole? Um, we might be a little bit short. What do you reckon? A little bit short. This particular nuke here is uh, queenless and uh, I went in yesterday and had a look and uh, it's got a lot of uh, drone brood. That tells me that the queen has failed in, in its uh, mating and uh, it's been without a queen for over three weeks. So I'll open up and uh, see, see where we go. Right, okay. You can see all, all the raised uh, drone cells, there's no uh, worker brood in this particular frame at all. There's, egg, there's eggs there, but uh, you'll find that's pro probably uh, worker, worker, uh, worker bees that uh, are starting to uh, lay eggs. Also you see here there's some chalk brood disease, see, see, the, see the mummies in the chalk brood? Some more here, some more there, there. This one here has got a fair few uh, cells of, uh, of, of chalk brood mummies. This one here, this side here is worse. So we'll, we're going, what we're going to do is take the whole super Four bees up yonder, and so that no laying workers are able to come back to the hive. Nice swagger you got going there. Eh? Nice swagger you yeah. got going there. <laughs> even, if, even if there was a queen here, she'd be no good because it's there's too much laying worker comb. Every comb has got drone comb on it. You gotta make sure that you have no bees left in your super so that they, in case there might be a laying worker. By shaking all the bees out, any laying workers will be dropped on the ground and either the ants or the dragon will eat them. All the bees that are flying are worker bees and they will fly back to the hive as quickly as possible. All the bees off here. You, don't, you can't tell whether it's a lame worker or just a worker bee. This is a good one to have to get a bit more. See all those raised cells? That, that tells you that's all drone, all male bees. None of it's concave, so there's no, no worker bee seal brood there at all. That, that's the more chalk brood disease through stress in the hive. Quite a few bees in this hive, but it'll only, it'll only fail. The worker bees will beat us back to the, back to the original site. take these away with us. Right, so with the uh, all that drone comb there and chalk brew disease, we're now going to remedy the situation. We're going to put those frames on the top of this number 
uh, eight to five over here and uh, check in another five days time. Generally within two to three days, chalk brood disease will be removed by the bees. This, this I've been doing since the 1980s when I first, when I first experimented. <laughs> no laughing up there. <laughs> the quick and the dead. Do you want to eat a bee for lunch? If you, if you ain't quick, you're dead. <laughs> what Alan's about to do is um, put the chalk brood affected frames into a great hive um, and what the bees will do is remove the chalk brood um, within a couple of days. In the 1980s, literature stated that it was best to kill the queen and put a new queen in if you had chalk brood disease. I was still getting the disease so I started to experiment with dif different methods and what I found was that if the chalk brood disease brood frames were lifted, the bees would clean them out quickly. The bee numbers here are well and truly bringing in the honey. Alan's going to be taking off the top super, which is absolutely chockers with honey, and replacing it with sticky. That's what, what I call optimum number bee numbers. will amalgamate with the other hives either side and they won't fight. And what are you writing on each frame there Alan? CB, chalk brood. Okay, so that's how you can identify where the chalk brood is. Yeah, well that's the only one you've got to look at, it, look yeah. at when, they, uh, when we do it. So you reckon in, um, within three days they'll remove that chalk brood? Yeah, we'll, ch check, it, we'll check it next week when, when, we, when, we come, when we come out. Yeah. So you can have a look at it. All supers that have been extracted are placed on trays with paper so that honey is not dripping. There is also a few sheets of paper placed on top with a cover. No vermin can enter the, the supers. The two supers are now joined together so that it can be lifted as one unit up onto the main hive. All lifting is done by mechanical means. I have not had to lift my hives since 2000 when I designed my lift tech loader. Right, you can thump all those bees on the ground and, and then Get rid of them on the bit of timber. On, on the behind you there, on the wherever you can get rid of all those bees. No bees in there. Right. All the bees will amalgamate with either of these two hives here by this afternoon. So that'll help to boost those up, and uh, we've got rid of the laying workers. <laughs> 